be making five spice chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. It will be a nice switch on the traditional chocolate chip cookie, so get excited. It's going to be delicious. The ingredients you'll need are one cup of flour, and we're using a corn flour, but you can use whatever you have on hand. One third of a cup of maple syrup. Half a cup of grain sweetened chocolate chips. A fourth of a cup of canola oil, or whatever oil you have. One teaspoon of almond extract. One teaspoon of baking powder. A fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt, and one and a half teaspoons of five spice. Okay, so I'm going to start by preheating the oven to 350. And then in one bowl, I'm going to mix the wet ingredients. So maple syrup. Together until it's nice and blended. Mmm, that smells so good. Okay, now that that's nicely blended, I'm going to mix all the dry ingredients in a separate bowl. Flour. Five spice. Wonderful as well. Really, really good smelling. I know. These are perfect for winter time and around the holidays as well. And this actually makes a small batch of cookies, so if you're making it for a large group of people, you should probably double or triple it. How many cookies do you think we can get out of this batch? Maybe like 10 cookies, possibly. Can we make one really big one? Or you can make one really big one. Okay, okay now I'm going to add the wet mixture to the dry mixture. Okay, and now I'm going to mix this. Don't over mix it though. Just mix it till it's just the right consistency. Yeah, see as you can see this is a very small amount of dough. Pour my chocolate chips in, and I'm thinking I'm actually going to only use a fourth of a cup instead of half a cup. I like my chocolate chips, but I forgot how small the amount of dough this makes, so I'll only use a fourth of a cup. Otherwise, it'll be too many chocolate chips. Okay, there we go. Look at that, perfect. Okay, now I'm going to take spoon, small spoonfuls and put it on my greased cookie sheet. Okay, now that they're on the cookie sheet, ready to bake them. And as you can see, the whole entire dough made nine cookies. So if you're gonna make it for a lot of people, definitely probably want to triple the size of the recipe. Let's head over to the oven. Oh, and make sure you flatten them a little bit too when you put them on the cookie sheet. Just a little. Okay, so we're gonna put them in the oven for eight to 10 minutes, but keep an eye on them 
Once they're golden brown, they're good to go. And there you have it. A beautiful batch of delicious cookies. Nine of them. All nine. All nine cookies. Remember, multiply them out if you're going to make more. But they still, smell really good. Still a little bit warm from the oven. Bye.